Hello, I'm Patrick. I'm working as a scientific project manager at the PFI. I'm responsible here for the Equibase Value project. My role in this project is to, by managing the scientific part, by planning, monitoring and evaluation of the scientific experiments, uh, communicate with the uh, project partners and create scientific reports. We are here at the PFI in the southwest of Germany. The PFI is a private non-profit research and test institute. Our aim or our goal in this project is the utilization of the biomass, the wooden biomass uh, for the production of bioethanol, biobutanol and biogas. The production of biosolvents and biogas is a very important step in the Equivase Value project because it gives some added more value for the, uh, for the whole economic uh, region here in the northwest of Europe. Uh, we are in the middle of this valorization chain. That means we get the biomass from the project partner Cellarborn in Belgium. In the first step, we make a chemical analysis to determine the exact amount of cellulose and hemicellulose, which contains all the sugar we need for the biosolvent production. In the second step, we, uh, we make a, a pretreatment process to release all the sugars from this biomass into a sugar solution. This pretreatment process included a thermochemical pretreatment and an enzymatic hydrolysis. This sugar solution after the pretreatment process we use for the fermentation process of the biosolvents. At the end we take all the remained solids from the pretreatment process and the fermentation process to produce biogas. Our main results showed that we are able to produce uh, biosolvents and biogas from this biomass. We are able to, uh, to release over 90% of the sugars from the biomass. These sugars are, are used, are, were used for the production of biosolvents. We also were able to produce biogas from the mains of the whole process. However, it seems that at the moment the cost for the, for the enzymes uh, use are very high. So therefore, the whole process of the pretreatment of the biomass is maybe not economic feasible at the moment. Therefore, we decided to use the extracted biomass directly uh, for the production of the biogas. Here we can show that we can uh, have enough biomass or enough biogas to operate a small biogas plant with 75 uh, kilowatts uh, electrical and heating power. In the next step, we use the residues of the biogas production and deliver them to the, our project partners Delphi in the Netherlands to evaluate the fertilizer potential of, the, of these residues. In future projects, we will try to use uh, the wooden biomass as co substrate to other biomass to improve the biogas production and to operate much greater uh, biogas plants.